Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our normal show, the Cloud Native Coffee Hour. And today, a little uh, adjustment in the um, the panel. It is just me and Sam today. Mr. Dan McCracken is taking a well-deserved day off. So I congratulate him on that. And I say we're back to our normal stream because the last time we streamed, we did an entire PC build, which Sam is streaming on right now. Yep, yep. Seems to and be working. Can... <laughs> and you got the new cables and put those all in and everything, right? Yes. And I'll have to show that off at some point in the, in the Discord. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Perfect. It, uh, to the viewers is, yeah, I was just about to ask that. Sam, volume up. Are you able to increase your volume, Sam? I'll just speak louder. Is it louder? Uh, it sounds about the same to me. I was noticing it seemed a little quiet, but I wasn't quite sure because, you know, I could turn my personal volume up and down. Turn the gain way up. Yelling works. Whisper louder. Whisper louder. I'll just get really close. Hey, there you go. That was really loud. <laughs> that was great. Need the the mic. Uh, the arm. boom. Yes, the boom. We, we I have an extra oh. boom, but uh, we could also, depending on your setup, we could get you the um the nice Ogato one. Uh -huh. ASMR Sam. Uh yes, we are hosting from my rig still. Um, you know, we work for a living, so it I, I don't think uh Sam necessarily had the time to, you know, get every all the streaming stuff set up. Plus, he's moving. Uh he's moving to a, a new dwelling, so he doesn't want to get too I think too set up in one spot. Yeah, I mean, my cable management is a mess right now. The room is a mess. Um the, the camera is very conveniently pointed, you know, in one direction. Um, but yeah, and I didn't want to have the first stream from the new rig be our normal uh, cloud native coffee hour because it's probably not going to go super well. <laughs> Maybe it will. I don't know. Yes, home is where you're going to see That's good. I like that. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get started with the content. So today's cloud native coffee hour is going to be um kind of a working session uh you probably saw the title we recently hired a new employee and we were setting them up in our raspberry pi cluster because that's where we experiment and uh we were getting them well, we we off to github basically to get into the cluster as a user with you know the rback rules and all that so we um we're getting him set up and we've done a lot of research on like pinniped and you know dex gangway all that kind of stuff we've done it many many ways but uh you know you guys have been watching our recent streams about rancher and in all my research about rancher i found that a rancher actually can do user auth across all your clusters consolidated to one place and it looks really nice and i was like oh man i really want to install rancher on our server I personally just haven't gotten around to it, but Sam uh, has been looking at that and uh, we're going to work through that today. So that's that's going to be our stream. We're going to install Rancher Server on our Raspberry Pi K3S cluster. I feel like I explained the stream in like way too many words. Oh, I thought that was pretty good. That was pretty succinct. I, I thought oh. that was good. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. OK, uh, let me switch over. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do that yeah. and a huge disclaimer apparently this is only experimental on arm so we'll see how it goes <laughs> okay. it is experimental on arm yeah <laughs> the the page for it i'm oh, hold on let me see if i can find the page for that yeah yeah um Googling. Uh, yeah. So are you able to click links right now, Sam? Um, like on yes. Discord or anything? Um, I 
don't think I have Discord up, but you know, just send me a DM. See what <laughs> see what happens. Send you I can already copy DM. it from my uh Actually just open up a Google a Google page. It'll be way easier. And just type rancher arm sixty four. Boom. Right Experimental. There. Oh boy. So Only for it's that. experimental. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have all the features. So if you scroll down, there's just a little section that says, hey, this is the stuff that doesn't work. The following features are not tested. They're just not tested. Doesn't mean it doesn't work, I guess. Monitoring, right. alerts, notifiers, pipelines, and logging, and launching apps from the catalog. Okay. I, I, you know, I bet you launching apps from the catalog is not going to work. But the other ones, I don't know. We'll find out. I can live with that. Okay. We good? I think that's enough intro. I think so. Okay. Rancher. We looked at it before. It is somewhat confusing because Rancher is a company. And thanks thanks to Makita, I think we understand a little bit better that it's also a product from that same company. Um, so Rancher is the management console for rancher right i usually refer to it personally as rancher server okay yeah. that's i see it written that way here and there but yeah if you just say the word rancher usually it's referring to their their management council yes it's really cool though got a lot of features um so we're just going to start. And so this is kind of like we'd, we'd have this central location to look at all of our clusters, right? I mean, that's one of the main features. If you go to the, the home dashboard or whatever, you, you see the cluster it's installed on and any other clusters that you've kind of brought under the fold um, to be a part of this uh, management plane. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I didn't realize it was experimental until you told me that five minutes ago um but i just yeah I, I knew we talked about it so i went to the install page for this and it says hey you can install it on k3s um so that's what we're gonna try to do awesome let's so, do it hell. every time i've looked at doing this i was like uh ah. Putting on ARM is always a pain in the ass because you always have to like find the ARM image specifically because nobody ever yeah. does the the multi uh, uh, whatever the compile. Multi -arch. Um, oh yeah, thank you. The mul yeah. multi architecture. And I don't know what it is. Like I I know where to look and I know I've tried installing things on our cluster that supposedly have ARM sixty four images. And then you go to install it and it's supposed to auto sense, right? It's supposed to be like, I'm on arm, give me arm image, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't do it. And then it fails with the, you know, the common error that we all know. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, so helm install, start by adding the stable repo. I do not want the latest. Maybe I do. I don't know. Can you make it a little bigger? I can make it huge. Just tell me when to stop. I think th that that's perfect. I think that's good. Okay. okay. So Helm is a uh, package manager for Kubernetes. We're going to add a repo. Already exists. Oh, don't look at that. So were you messing around, Sam? I may, I may have cheated a little bit and, and looked at this before the stream started, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'll act surprised. So Helm repo add, Helm repo update. Make sure we have the newest indexes. Step two, create a namespace that definitely doesn't already exist. For sure. And we're good. <laughs> so that's what you would do if you hadn't already done this a couple hours ago. This is 
I was looking at this. I don't completely know for sure the best option, um, but the SSL configuration for the dashboard and everything, they have a rancher generated TLS certificate that uses certain. Yeah. Energy. I was looking at, okay, so I was looking at these docs a couple days ago too, and I got to this section and I'm like, cause I, I personally haven't logged into our, our Raspberry Pi cluster in a while. And I know that we switched over to traffic because it comes with K3S and we switched over to using traffic's cert generator too, I think, right? So I was like, do we have cert manager installed anymore? And I wasn't sure. And I got to this and I was like, eh, I'll do this another time. Yeah. So that's what I started to do. And I was like, okay, what do we got? Do we have a cert manager? And I was like, oh, cool. We have a cert manager. It's been there for like a year. Great. And then I got all the pods in the name and space. And uh, I just installed it. So they're all there now, but it was empty. And I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, and then, yeah, I was trying to remember, I was like, I don't know what is going on with our cluster anymore. Hey, but... we got a new follower, ZK Win. Thank you for the follow. ZK Win, awesome. Yeah. But no, um, we, do, we do not have Story Manager. I think Traffic and Let's Encrypt are just like happy doing whatever they're doing. I don't know. Can you do I that namespace thing again? Uh, with, the, with the days that things have been up? Yes. Look at that. 286 days. That's how long we've been running this K3S cluster. That's, first yep. of all, it's, oh, uh, the older I get, the more scared I get of how fast time goes by. It's been 286 days since we rebuilt the cluster with K3S. That's insane. I think we actually did part of that on stream too. Yeah, I and think the so. The cluster I just runs. Was, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> See, okay, this might just be a me thing. And sorry, sorry for the aside. We're going to keep going with the rancher thing, but I have to, I think, I feel so strongly that Kubernetes can just run for long periods of time. You don't have to rebuild your clusters all the time. And I just, you know, I, I work with different clients and they like to rebuild their clusters anytime they do like application deploys. And it just drives me absolutely nuts your clusters can run nonstop. I mean, you're going to do maintenance. You're going to take nodes out. You're going to upgrade, you know, the base versions of the binaries and stuff. But like, it's pretty solid. And I think there's a lot of benefit to just having it out there. I don't know. It's just me. And, I love seeing right. this. When you say rebuild your cluster, you mean you have cluster currently and then you rebuild it and then you shut this one down, right? Yeah. Like... You could just as easily update the nodes in place and just do your maintenance, but you could just, I mean, if you got that many, if you got that much room, sure, I guess. Spin up a whole nother cluster. It's so cool. That never has problems, right? McCracken is in the chat. You know, McCracken, we need to just, we have 12 Raspberry Pis right now. Let's just buy another 12. Let's make this thing a 24 node Raspberry Pi cluster. Mm -hmm. big big d cluster let's go <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right where are we <laughs> i'm sorry it's okay so yes i saw it needs cert manager whether you're using just let's encrypt or the rancher generated we're not going to bring our own certificate so this is the default that's what they want to do so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, as we saw, I definitely did install Cert Manager. So already did that. But if we scroll down a little bit, yes, so right here. I mean, they give you instructions on how to install it. You got something to say? You can say so. Okay. Um, I didn't follow these. I just went to Cert Manager and followed them. Um, it looked pretty pretty much right. Um, you have to install some CRDs, and then you do another Helm repo add, Helm repo update. 
um, and install. The only thing is I installed a newer version because this one is no longer supported. Right, and that's that's all the, the pre-steps. Installing it, you know, the way they want to should be just this easy. Except you're going to change the host name to like rancher.devsoperative.com. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> yep, so we want to install it from the rancher stable repo. We want to call it rancher. We want to put it in the cattle system. It's going to be HA for whatever that's worth. I don't know. It's going to be HA. Three replicas. Let's go. Let's go. See if this works. <laughs> oh. Unable to continue. Secret bootstrap secret in namespace exists and cannot be imported. Sam, got to delete that secret. See how much is how much is still there from when I was messing around. Do secrets show up oh. that way though? No. Okay. Kill it. Kill the namespace. Start over. Easy. That was that was probably the way to do it. Um, it's odd that Helm didn't clean those up for me, I feel like, but whatever. Yeah. It, I don't know. The only, the only like guess I could have is that the secrets are randomly generated, which is why it failed. Um, mm. but... It doesn't look like the name of the resort or the the name of it was procedurally generated. So I feel like I should steal. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. So I'm going to create a new. No, I'm not. I'm going to patiently wait. Your Streamlabs uh, little uh, bopper do worked. Which bopper do? The one that, like, you said you put a timer that tells people to join yes. the Discord? Cool. Yes, I did some things. There are some uh, commands added and some timers set <laughs> to send messages. I did it like a month ago, so I don't really remember what they all are, but they're in there. <laughs> Let me go back and see if it's deleted. Okay. Is there like a force delete? Uh, yeah. There is. Dash dash, dash force. F. I think just dash F, but you can, yeah, I don't know. I haven't used this scene in a while, so I'm editing it right now. Cool. Yeah, there it is. Discord does operative. Boom. Very nice. Force deleted the namespace. It's still kind of hanging out, though, so I'm going to give it a second. Cattle system. I love I love the, yeah. the branding around Rancher. Uh, yeah, right. Everybody went with Nautical, but Rancher uh, sticks to we, their guns. They went to like a farm, a farm theme. Yeah. Uh huh. And honestly, I feel like that's part of the reason why, you know, like four years ago or whatever, when you could, you know, we started seeing Rancher, I was like, they just don't get it. <laughs> like, what are they doing? <laughs> but it turns out, no, they get it. I 100% agree. Well, and, and, you know, I've been talking to people about Rancher. And a lot of people shared 
kind of anecdotes that when Rancher first came out, um, it, it was one thing, and then they kind of almost did a, not not a rebranding, but like they changed their focus and their approach, <laughs> and they kind of became almost like a different product at that point. Hey, Iceman. Welcome to the stream. Wow, this is taking forever. What's going on? I don't know why it's hanging. We might create a new namespace. Do you have canines running? Yes. Look, a new namespace. <laughs> we got somebody asking maybe this is why people rebuild their clusters <laughs> you know can't argue with that okay All right, here we go it's probably gonna take a minute because i did it earlier and it took a minute boom it took no seconds because all the images were already pulled down. Look at me. That's why I did it earlier. <laughs> um, Thinking ahead. Yes. We'll say that's what it was. Okay. So what happened? Um, we installed with Helm. Um, it has this convenient thing right here that I tried earlier and it didn't work. Um, Maybe this way it'll work. Um, so, right, so we've, not that. Sorry, I keep switching between. Okay, oh, let's go look at it. And cattle. Oh, we created a bunch of namespaces. Didn't realize that. Kettle system two. That's where we should be waiting for this to install. But obviously it created a lot of different things. I don't know what all these are. You know what any of these are? Fleet? Nope. All right, neither do I. That's, that's rancher behind the scenes. Rancher server behind the scenes. So we'll give it a minute. Stuff to learn. Stuff to learn. Yep, for sure. Waiting. I like to approach. Oh, yeah, I love that. Um, I like to approach new products kind of from the what's the the value add from a business perspective first. And then I, I pair the pull the layers back and, and like to explore kind of the details. And at this point, I am still exploring Rancher from a product perspective. So. I do not know what the fleet stuff is. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? TLS secret is forbidden. That's interesting. I didn't see that earlier, but that's probably why what happened to me earlier happened to me. Failed to set up TLS listener. TLS... Dash Rancher is forbidden by able to create. Hmm. It's just not. Um. Secrets. Hello? Uh oh. I mean, they said it was experimental, but... I don't think this has anything to do with Rancher. Yeah, I don't know about that one. McCracken, the cluster's down. Did your power go out? <laughs> this would be awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> Can you do any just normal cube, cube CTL commands? Man, that came right back. Uh, do they get secrets? Uh, 
uh, do the cattle system. Okay, uh, do the, um, just do normal cattle system. Let's see what's going on there. Nice. I think it's pretty much deleted now. Maybe. Nope. Interesting. Okay. So we're having cluster issues, and now you're watching uh, us explore and debug that. Live. Yeah. Okay. That was the secret I was looking for, though, right? It was looking for TLS Rancher. There's a TLS Rancher Ingress. So try to remember that when we get back to having a cluster. Let's check. Oh, man, it's been so long. Um, certificates. Right. Do you? Yeah, you had to. Cert manager creates certificates. So maybe that's the uh, conflict it's running into. Maybe there's a, a certificate still out there. Uh, just try just try certificate. Okay. Aren't you a cluster admin? admin? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at your uh, RBAC. Isn't there a who am I? Um, yeah, let's see if that... Nope, canines is just... Oh, okay. it's back. I don't know if it was like literally that TMUX. Maybe it is just back. Um, roll, roll bind, um, cluster roll binding. Just admin. Okay. And that seems correct. Cluster. So there's a cluster admin which is what we have set up, but apparently installing cert manager added admin. So okay, uh, go to your cluster role binding. There Ooh, we go. That's fast. That is blazingly fast. I mean, it is pretty hot out. Do we need some fans in the server room? Right. Okay. Um. Create a new one. If we think that's what we need, maybe. Just quit. Move back. Uh, well, I mean, the cluster role, so it created an admin. Uh, we you could just add. Access denied on pods. Did it really? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I can get pods. Let's take a look at our cluster admin role, cluster role. <laughs> okay. So McCracken appears to be restarting the control plane. 
All right, so we just have to stall. So regardless, uh, there's a possibility. Oh, that seems faster. So there's a possibility that our uh, the, the cluster admin role that we're using needs to have yep. some new things. Can we look things. at the yeah. let's look at the cluster role again? Let's look at cluster cluster admin instead of just admin. Solid. Let's look at that one. Everything. Yeah, star, 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 star. Technically, we should be able to access it. Right. Is there anything specific like to new CRDs? I would think that you would need it or like star would still cover a CRD, but. Okay. He's saying that Trivi is running in the control plane nodes and eating up the CPU. Who installed Trivi? I think that was you. Okay, let's uh, look at certificates again from here, if we can. Ooh, what's that? You can't helm edit, can you? From Kinheads. I don't think so, no. That's, that's the feature I want. So let's look at certificates. Oh, you hit enter already? Ugh. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Issuing certificate as secret. Does not. Okay, uh, open this up. Okay. <sighs> Issuing certificate as secret. Okay. Does not exist. Uh, right, so now uh, there's a order. I think there's a CRD called order. There it is. It's an order. And okay, let's try certificate requests. Okay, there too. We can also uh, stop sharing my screen for a second while I go turn off trivia. Or if McCracken just wants to delete it, then that's fine too. I. Uh let's do that because i think we could reinstall it with um settings that only run it at night and stuff because it sounds like it's just scanning all the time what do you think are you okay with that yeah i mean 100 percent um can i delete from here it. that described uh control d just the way we want to do it mm. try it all right <laughs> this cluster is for playgrounding yep end of the day we can always delete a oh it's gone it's gone <laughs> all right why is the cert manager helm chart failed i don't know man <laughs> Maybe right, that's why my HTTPS didn't work. Okay. Um, right. Is, is there it actually gone? Starboard? No, not really. Um, just look in there. Pods. Out of right. memory killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like it didn't actually delete it. Um, no. 
if it's a deployment. Yeah, kill it. Um, oh, are they going away? Why don't you just select all those and force kill them? Is there a quick multi-select? Yes, spacebar. That's what I'm doing. Can you, I would, I would select all the red ones too. Force it. Bye. Oh, how do I force? Um, tab, you tab four times, I think. It's too late. That's okay. Ooh. That's okay. They're back into a knit. <laughs> She's not dying. You're an operator? Um, you want to hide my screen where I find the... Where I have my helm chart? Just for a second. Sure. There you go. You are hidden. Thank you. Now, I did preface the introduction that this was going to be a working session, so. <laughs> Highly experimental for, for different reasons, though. You know what I do like about this though is if you do have a playground cluster like this you can just kind of just click buttons you can just click buttons it's really cool I mean you can't really I don't know as long as you're just messing with the stuff that isn't in cube system you can't really screw anything up right so it's kind of nice you can always just manually delete everything and get back to a, a working state Cluster is uh, flailing a little bit. I'm, I'm not showing my screen, but <laughs> it's all right. Wow. I was really looking forward to seeing this whole Ranger thing work. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. You know, yeah. The whole starboard trivia thing and and CIS benchmarks, vulnerability reports, I didn't realize those are always running. Totally makes sense that it's going to throttle a whole bunch of Raspberry Pis. It shouldn't. So one, it shouldn't always be running. It should run when there's new stuff or when there's changes. And I think there there may be like a, a staleness that it will rescan something that's already been scanned, even if there is no change. But it's a little weird that it's doing it to the point of flailing. And I also, I'm pretty darn sure I saw resource limits on all those. So I wouldn't think, I don't know. Things are dying. You we're like installing a whole bunch of new stuff though. Right. True. So things are dying in a good way? I think so. We're down to... Uh, one pod. That's a good point. Uh, McCracken just wrote in chat that he doesn't like that they are running those jobs on the control plane nodes. So, I mean, we could probably put in some um, uh, affinity rules. It has that built in. Yeah, you can, you can specify... The namespaces you want. Um, it, what? what uh, Sub lavish booty. Um, I don't know, you know, because it wasn't responding very well. What was actually being run out of those? You know, because obviously Starboard has a lot to it. Was it just the trivia scans, McCracken? Um, are you good for me to switch back to the screen or no? Do it, yeah. That's fine.
Yeah, do I think our we made it so our control plane is schedulable, right? I'm not sure. You know, th thinking about if we were going to make this thing like super productionable, um, you know, we probably would want to turn that off since they're just Raspberry Pis. We probably want to leave all the RAM and CPU um, for just the control plane and Etsy D. That's another thing, you know, we could, I think K3S lets you, it has a setup where you can install external etcd. So, you know, if we did get some more Raspberry Pis, we could probably put etcd on three Raspberry Pis, the control plane on three Raspberry Pis, make neither of them schedulable, um, and then just have the recipe worker nodes, and that way, you know, K, uh, uh, etcd has its own resources the control plane has its own resources and they don't have to fight with each other yep i don't know just just an idea mm -hmm. so are we just waiting for pods to come up now like what's going on yeah it's still pretty uh Ooh. no no uh no api server so just, uh, why don't you kill us? Try again. I don't know how K9s works. I don't know if it like hangs on to its API server connection. Well, this stream might just be a fail, but you know, people get to see at least how we're working through the problem. Restart everything. Delete it all. Restart everything. <laughs> oh, ooh. Connectivity, okay. And then it said denied. Uh, try notes. Access denied. Kind of weird. Oh, it's down again. McCracken, are you bouncing the nodes still? Is there, are you, do you have the stream up? Do you know how much of a delay there is? Uh, three, four seconds. Maybe. He's not touching it, but he wants to. Uh, it can't be it? much worse at this point. Like, I don't know if, you know, me deleting. We have some time saying delete actually deleted it or if it's just going to keep flailing because why why don't you, know? you try it mccracken why don't you try uh a rolling restart of those nodes <laughs> i like how we started the stream talking about not rebuilding your cluster and sorry just small... Very, you know, i mean sorry I did say in there, though. Re reboot does not equal no, rebuild. Exactly. Yeah, I, but um, the I did say in there, you know, there's still maintenance. You know, we have done um, upgrades and updates of of the cluster in the last year. Um, I don't know. It's, Whatever, the Raspberry yes. Pis, this happens. Right. I would like to get it to a better point with the automation and everything that if we got to a point where it was just completely jacked up, we could rebuild it easier. Because I really don't know where the status of some of those Ansible scripts or like what's what. I'll tell you the, the, the rebuild is extremely simple our ansible does it all it even can do uh upgrades with the ansible which is awesome that said um raspberry pis have a little bit of a uh pre pre step right where you have to um you know do all the sd card stuff and then manually slide those in and out with our big fingers and then you have to use your little fingernail and just get on that rounded edge of the SD card and try to hopefully pull it out. 
Hard to if you can't tell, I, I've had a lot of frustrations with that. All right, what? Boom. Ooh. Hey, Colima. Look at my uh, contacts. Unable to connect to default. You could do a watch. I thought about doing that, but then I was like, uh, is that DDoSing our, our uh, cluster as it comes up? I don't think so. It should be able to handle that. Okay. And I forget our current state. Did we ever finish the whole, like, putting an HA proxy in front of uh, um, the API server nodes? Can't remember if we ever finished that. Oh, like McCracken did that? But that's a good point. If the one's down, it might be down. But I feel like McCracken did that. Or proxy, yes. All right. Now, you know, for the audience, we might be, we might run out of time eventually to get this going, but that's okay. You know, I, I actually, I think there's a lot of value in this stream and we can, um, and we'll, we'll do this. We'll finish this on the next stream as well. Ooh, I think we're getting closer. If the API server comes back up, you're probably going to have to do the whole GitHub reauthorization, right? Will this kick that off automatically? It should. Okay. Storage. Oh, there. Even my, I mean, like, that's taking a long time to just start my canines which is kind of weird all right click on default i did like eight seconds ago oh nope. okay Whew. the cpu utilization on controller one is very high 50 percent i mean that's all within reasonable range though okay let's Let's try again. What? Let's go to our namespaces. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Please try to it. Or yeah, delete those. It's gone. Post. It's back. Terminating. Um, I guess while we're waiting, can we look at, um, the logs for the pod that was in crash loop back off for Rancher? Still terminating. Yeah. Let's look at the logs of it, the running one. We're, we're uh, toast again. Just, just 
Ooh. Wait. Ooh. And when you did this earlier, it just worked. It got a lot farther than this, I'll tell you that, yeah. <laughs> so what is this so lavish? We are, so the point of the stream today, uh, we were going to install something called Rancher Server. And what Rancher Server does is it is a application from the company rancher uh that you can it's like a management council for kubernetes clusters so you can have all of your clusters that are a part of your business uh in one place and it actually also allows you to build clusters in any cloud so you can say hey i want to build a kubernetes cluster in uh in google cloud or in amazon and it's just click 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 get some clusters and you can see them all in one view you can see their health you can see their workloads it's really nice um it also provides a lot of functionality and like hey i want to install um cert manager in this cluster you can clicky clicky it has like an application catalog so you can click on the cluster and then you can click on catalog and then you can click on the things you want to install so a lot of cool stuff um the thing we were going to use it for here was um our user authentication to our current cluster um, is handled in a very early days way. And I'm going to say early days. I'd say, you know, looking at it now in modern times, I would say it's very jank. <laughs> it's a very jank way. It's using, you know, like little like plugins and scripts here and there. It's got like Dex installed and Gangway and we're doing all these things. And that's the way it was done uh, even, even last year. But since then... Um, People have written tools like Pinniped, which make it really easy. And Rancher Server also has a way to have centralized user authentication uh, for all of your Kubernetes clusters in one spot. And we we're going to work through installing that and setting that up to make our authentication a little bit nicer. But our Raspberry Pis are flailing at the moment and making it not a thing, <laughs> unfortunately. And let's see. And we're not going to go much past five o'clock, so I will probably not going to actually be able to get to the meat of this demo. That's OK. It's a working session. Something like that. It's a not working session. As I say, the demo gods were not with us. Mm -hmm. He's taking notes. Mm -hmm. Can we get an update from our man on the ground? <laughs> Ooh. Mr. McCracken, how we doing? You know what? Maybe we should delete Rancher. That might help. Okay, here, here's what we're going to do, okay? I have an idea. Delete Rancher. Just get rid of it completely. Then, after, you, after Rancher's gone, go into each control plane node and mark them as cordoned. Okay. So that way 
uh, they can't be scheduled on. Then we'll reinstall Rancher. So that way nothing gets scheduled on the control plane nodes, which will hopefully help in uh, mitigating any type of issues with the API server. Ah. Get in there. <laughs> so he's, uh, it sounds like he added, he modified the the load balancer, the HA proxy, to only have a single IP in it. So that's probably why we were getting inconsistent results with the API server. So now it looks like possibly only controller two is in the lineup. That looks right. All right, let's uh, let's K nines it again just so we can get a feel for the state of the cluster. Ooh. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Let's do a delete of, can you do a helm delete of Rancher? Not from K9s. Hey, we got a new follower, DK Shazam. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate you. Yes. Uninstall. Uh, do a helm list. Oh, uh, um, uninstall rancher dash in cattle system two. namespaces i don't know if that Is works you can try it there's just you know it created those namespaces so i didn't see if it cleans them up okay it's okay I like having the chat on the screen. That's a new feature. Mm -hmm. It is a new feature. Well done. It's thinking really hard. Can you All open right. up? Ooh, a new. Oh, it's done. Cool. Let's take a look at what it did. That's okay, because we manually created that one. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back. What What's in the fleet ones? No pods. Okay. Let's... Can you delete namespaces from canines? Let's just delete everything. Good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fleet default and fleet local. Get rid of those two. 
Those were created three hours ago, so. Probably or soon. Gucci. Okay. Kill it. Hoping they just delete. That would be nice. Cattle system has been deleting for like an hour. That's correct, VR. And we deleted it with Helm, but uh, doesn't seem to be cleaning itself up. Right. The the cattle system namespaces we created. Um. And then installed the release into them, but it created all the fleet and global and other namespaces, which still had pods running. Does it? We're looking better, maybe. <laughs> Have any of them left yet? Or it looks the same to me. I mean... I don't know if I'm just not getting pods that are there, but I think the pods are clearing up. Okay. You, uh... What if we look at the secrets? Uh, do the same thing for fleet. Okay. Um, go to canines again, and let's check the secrets. Maybe the sec like the secrets aren't able to clean it. Uh, let's look at all secrets. Okay. I don't know why they're not so, cleaning up. Hmm. Hold on. I kind of want to see if we can f at least fix this issue. I have a possibility. You ready? Yeah, go for it. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna type this up. Ooh. Oh, but those exist outside of namespaces. I know, I don't know why, but... Helm, I mean, it notoriously has issues with CRDs. Gosh, how many of these are there? Uh, why don't you just try deleting what you have selected so far? Yeah, go for it. I did. <laughs> Click dinner again. What? 
286 days. I'll leave that one. Good call. You know what I would do? Instead of searching for cattle, I'd search for 3H. Oh, does it search the whole, whole thing? I believe it does, yes. Yeah. Well, hot dang. One second and I'll do it. Cattle 3H. Yeah. Nope. Apparently not. I know it will search the status, so because a lot of times I do like a bang ready to find everything that's not ready. Uh -huh. This is stupid. Wow. Yeah, if anybody knows in the chat a better way to clean up CRDs, I would love to know it. Believe failed. <laughs> I didn't see the error message quick enough. Try just one. Those are the same ones. We're just trying to delete the same thing over and over again. Oh, it oh ooh. Did it. You deleted 89 though, right? Because now there's only 24 left. Oh, index out of bounds there. Oh, it is working. It's just taking some time. That's probably why it said delete failed. Because delete something that was deleted. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, just finish these off. Okay. I'm just going to assume that worked. Um, And then let's clean up these namespaces. I have a I have something. Is there any way I can send you a block of code? Just send it in Discord. Okay. I should be able to copy it from my phone even. Okay, here it comes. You're going to need to run this in a bash terminal. It will not work in fish. Copy text. Let's try that. So let's name the namespace variable there. Beautiful. To one of the namespaces we're trying to delete. How about cattle uh, cattle system? What is there? I'm sorry. All right, let's run that.
Didn't work. Still there. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's too bad. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we can do at the moment on the stream, because otherwise it's just going to, you know, be more us digging. And it is 511. We we've already gone over. Yep. Hmm. I think we're going to call it. We're going to have to dig in, try to clean these up, because if we try to apply the helm chart again, it's going to complain that the namespaces already exist. Yep. GG, Lavish. It's very disappointing. But honestly, I, I kind of had fun, so. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love debugging Kubernetes clusters. So, yep. all right. Let's, uh... Curse of the demo. Yep. The demo gods were not with us. Yeah, that's true. So we <laughs> will, before next Wednesday, fix this. And we are going to run through installing Rancher several times and make sure that we can do it uh, reliably. But like and I said at the beginning Rancher. of the stream, and deleting Rancher, yeah. Uh, so like I said at the beginning of the stream, it was a working session. We weren't 100% sure what was going to work, what wasn't. Um, even once we got Rancher up, it's still marked as experimental. So, um, yeah. Any last words you have, Sam? Better luck next time. We'll see. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We will be back next Wednesday. Uh, and we might actually have a... Uh, we're going to start doing some extra streams here and there. So, uh, yep. we are actually probably going to have, like, a learning session coming up soon um we might be doing some more vim adventures as well so look forward to those uh extra streams but we are still planning on always doing the cloud native coffee hour where you'll have very specific content like this so we'll see you next wednesday uh and have a wonderful wonderful week see you next time see you guys